Presidential, legislative and local elections were held on September 16, 1935. This was the fourth election since the enactment of the Tidings McDuffie Act, a law that paved the way for a transitory government, as well as the first nationwide at-large election ever held in the Philippines. Senate President Manuel Luis Quezon won a lopsided victory against former President Emilio Aguinaldo. His election victory was largely due to the weak political machinations of his rivals. Another losing contender was Gregorio Aglipe, founder and supreme bishop of the Iglesia Filipina Independiente Philippine Independent Church. Pascual Recuil, a mechanic by profession, also ran for president as an independent. Quezon's running mate, Senate President pro tempore Sergio Osmeña won a more impressive victory as vice president of the Philippines. He was said to have faced less effective candidates. Nominations Nationalist of Party nomination Candidates Gallery After the passage of the Hare Haas Cutting Act in the United States in 1933, only requiring approval of the Philippine legislature, the Nationalist of Party was split between the Quezon and Osmeña factions. The Quezon Wing, known as the Partido Nacionalista Demócrata or Partido Nacionalista Consolidado, was against the act. The Osmeña Wing, known as the Partido Nacionalista Pro Independencia, was for the passage of the act. Historian Teodoro Agoncillo pointed out that the main reason for Quezon rejection of the act lay in his anticipation that Osmeña, whose efforts brought the passage of the Hare Haas Cutting Act, might run as president of the transition government slated to be established before granting of independence, resulting to the relegation of himself as second in command once more. Due to Quezon's efforts in the legislature, the Philippines rejected the act and himself promised a better law than the one brought home by Osmeña. His mission to the United States brought forth the passage of the Tidings McDuffie Act in March 1935, just three months away from the Philippine legislative election, 1934. The general election on June 5, 1934 turned into a gauge on which wing was supreme. Both factions claimed the nationalist name and independence became the central issue. When the results came in, the Quezon wing proved better than that of Osmeña, at least in the national scale. Osmeña faction candidates still dominated the local scene. After the elections, the idea of forming a coalition between the two factions, reuniting the old Nationalista party once more, floated in public discussion. On June 15, 1935, three months before the scheduled elections for the Commonwealth, both factions held their own national conventions, wherein Quezon was named candidate for president, and Osmeña was named candidate for vice president. According to historian Nick Joaquin, Osmeña showed greatness in accepting the number two role in a drama where he started out as protagonist. At this, the two factions reconciled as a unified nationalist party with an eight-point program. National Socialist Party nomination Candidates Gallery Emilio Aguinaldo, who founded the National Socialist Party in 1934, announced his candidacy for president on June 2, 1935. Raimundo Meliza, former governor of Iloilo, was made his running mate. Among those who supported his bid were Sixto López, Anastasia Teodoro, former mayor Justo Lupban, Emiliano Tria Torona, Narciso Lapuz, Vicente Sato, and Miguel Cornejo. In Aguinaldo's acceptance speech at Cavite, Cavite, he addressed to an audience of around 5,000 his 44-point platform. His candidacy was also supported by the organization Veteranos de la Revolución, formed during the administration of Governor General Leonard Wood by remaining Filipino veterans of the Philippine Revolution and the Philippine-American War. General Emilio Aguinaldo in his acceptance speech, June 1935. Other parties that supported Aguinaldo's bid was Partido Radical, a left-wing party formed in 1930 by Alfonso Mendoza, and Partido Filipinista, another party founded by Aguinaldo. Mendoza was then representative of Manila's 2nd District. Republican Party nomination Candidates Gallery 
After his worldwide tour in 1934, wherein Aglipe went to Copenhagen to attend the 11th International Congress of Religious Liberals by the International Association for Religious Freedom IARF, and even claimed to have interviewed Adolf Hitler and talked with Alejandro Leru, Prime Minister of Spain, and Edvard Benes, President of Czechoslovakia, he expressed his intention to run as President of the Commonwealth. On June 19, 1935, Aglipe announced his candidacy. Thus, Aglipe revived the Republican Party for this purpose, first organized in 1904 but collapsed after the 1907 elections. With this, he also launched his seven-point program. Bishop Gregorio Aglipe in his manifesto of his candidacy, June 1935. His bid was supported by the Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas PKP, a left-wing party organized on November 7, 1930 by Crisanto Evangelista. The PKP fielded Norberto Nabong of Manila as Aglipay's running mate. Results Quezon carried all the provinces except Aguinaldo's home province of Cavite and Aglipay. S. Home Province of Ilocos Norte. Aguinaldo showed strength in the Bicol provinces in the face of early results, but Quezon eventually triumphed in the region. Aglipay's strength in Nueva Vizcaya nearly won the province for the Republican candidate, yet the nationalist is still prevailed. Osmeña also carried all the provinces except Cavite, wherein Meliza won by a close margin. Osmeña S feat is unmatched to date. While Aglipay quickly accepted the results, Aguinaldo protested about electoral manipulations. He raised the issue up to the United States, and his supporters in Cavite plotted not only a rally to disrupt the inauguration in November, but also launching an assassination attempt against the winners, yet to no avail. President Vice President Manila Vote Manila, as showed in the June 1934 election, leaned to vote for the opposition. First district voted for Gregorio Perfecto, a Democrata, as representative. Second district voted Alfonso Mendoza, a radical. However, an opposition bailiwick the city could have been, the Nationalist Party won overwhelmingly, whereas it was expected that Aguinaldo and Aglipay will make an upset advantage. See also Philippine Legislative Election, 1935 Commission on Elections Politics of the Philippines Elections in the Philippines References External links The Philippine Presidency Project Official website of the Commission on Elections Emilio Aguinaldo on the Presidential Museum and Library Manuel L. Quezon on the Presidential Museum and Library